woman seriously hurt when a tree she was working to remove falls on top of her. What the homeowner says he saw that made him nervous something was going to go horribly wrong. An effort to make a backyard a safe place for kids to play has turned into a tragedy tonight. Good evening, I'm Mike Dardis. And I'm Cherie Palolo. A tree cutting job went wrong in North Fairmount, and now a woman is hospitalized with devastating injuries. WLWT News Vice Brian Hamrick is leading the way for us. He joins us from the emergency room at UC where the woman was taken just this afternoon. Brian. Well, I talked to the woman's fiance a short time ago. He said she's here at the UC Medical Center. She has a fractured skull, fractured in three places. She also has a broken neck. He's inside just hoping for the best. It was a cut tree and a split second that turned trimming into tragedy as the dead wood became a danger. It had already been struck by lightning once before the top half had fell down. You were concerned it was going to fall on your kids or something. Exactly. Yeah. The homeowner, who did not want to appear on camera, told us the dead tree had to come down. It was too close to the kids' trampoline. He talked to us as emergency crews backed their vehicles at the scene. You had concerns from the very beginning. Yeah. The homeowner says he hired a man and his fiance who do odd jobs to cut the tree. He says the woman had one end of this rope around her waist and the other around the tree. He tried to pull it to get it to fall into a certain spot. Homeowner believes the tree was too heavy and pulled the woman as it fell. And so she was tied, she was tied, and when it started going, she was she, attached. She, she was, she had it like wrapped around her a couple times. The man cutting the tree was Curtis Harper. He tells us his fiance is Ronica Riddle. Harper says they've been engaged for six years. He tells us the job was going as planned, but the accident unfolded in a matter of seconds. No one had time to react. Harper says the doctors are telling him it's just too early to give him a prognosis. Reporting live, Brian Hemrick, WLWT News 5. Brian, thank you. This case brings up issues of liability. Experts say in a case like this, ask your contractor if they're licensed, bonded, and insured. Also, be sure to talk with your insurance agent to make sure you're covered if something does go wrong.